Hey guys, it's uh, Thursday, so here's my video for this week. Sorry I'm putting it up so late. I've been really busy packing and moving and unpacking and getting new furniture and um, all of that stuff. So I'm officially in Minneapolis and Drew's been here this week helping me get the apartment um, together as much as possible and then he moves up in two weeks. So just quick up life update and maybe explanation as to why I look so tired. Uh, but the video for this week, the topic is on passing. So here's my experience or my um, perspective on that. So um, to pass means in this context to be read as the gender that you want to be read out or the gender that you feel is yours or the, the gender that you want to present as. Um, people can talk about passing in a lot of other sense like to pass as straight or to pass as gay or to pass as a certain race or ethnicity. Um, so it changes meaning depending on the context. Um, but obviously, um, on this channel, it means to pass with the gender presentation and identity that you that you choose or that you want. Um, I think that passing is important to Drew. I, I know that it's important to Drew, but this is where my video and my experience is probably a lot different than the other people posting this week because um, Drew was on T for two years before we started dating, and um, he just was pretty much through with his transition when I met him. So um, I haven't really gotten to be a part or see or have anything to do with any of the um, aspects of passing in the traditional way that um, most of the people on this channel and a lot of trans guys or trans people might talk about. Um, I met Drew, he was Drew and passed really well. He does pass really well now. Um, so I think, I, I know it's important to him, um, but it's not really been part of our reality as a couple. So um, my perspective is slightly different. Um, to me, passing probably isn't as important as it is to um, some other partners or, or definitely to some trans guys themselves, and I know not to Drew. Um, I want Drew, I don't ever even have to consider it. I don't have to think about Drew passing or not passing because he passes so well um, and all the time. It's just, it's just never a question. Uh, but I would have to say that it probably isn't very important to me whether he passes or not because if he didn't pass as a guy, which he is, he would probably be read as a butch lesbian. Um, and since I identify as a lesbian, it wouldn't really cause any problems with my identity or, or my presentation. Um, I, I want him to pass, and I think it's important that he passes because that's how he feels most comfortable, and that's how he's happy. And so um, it's important to me that he passes because it's important to him, if that makes sense. But um, as far as my identity or how his gender presentation affects me, it doesn't really. Um, it actually confuses things more when he's read as a guy, when he is, because he <laughs> clearly is a guy, um, and then I'm read as a lesbian, and then people get confused um, with why that might be. Um, as far as, like tips to pass pre t or things like that. Like I said, I don't really feel like I have anything to offer anybody on that because I wasn't a part um, of Drew's transition in any way. Um, so I probably have to watch other videos um, for information about that because uh, I this just wasn't, that wasn't a part of my reality. Um, how does my partner feel when he doesn't pass? Um, I think that at this point, it kind of just like, um, he just kind of seems to shrug it off. Like I've been with them a couple times when people have came up to us and said ladies and then been like, oh, I'm sorry, and, and realized very quickly um, that Drew is a guy. Is Drew talks, his voice is really low. You can watch his videos um, on here. If he talks, there's just, it never happens. It never happens that he doesn't pass. So um, I think that if he truly didn't pass or someone truly read him as a as, um, female, he would get upset, but it just doesn't happen. So he's, he's not ever... Or if it does, it's so superficial, and they change their, they um, change whatever they're saying so immediately that it just doesn't seem to be a big thing. Um, how does passing affect your partner's identity and yours? This is what I really want to talk about because I think it might be slightly different than some of the other people posting this week. Um, Drew passing really, um, or me starting to date Drew, starting to date a trans guy as a queer identified woman and specifically a lesbian identified woman, um, made things really complicated at first because everybody was like, um, why are you dating a guy? I thought you were gay. Um, why, you know, and my family, why, I thought you were gay or, 
um, people asking my mom, I thought your daughter was a lesbian, why does she have a boyfriend, things like that. So um, the fact that Drew passes so well as a straight male um, really complicates my identity because I am very out as a queer woman. So that's caused a lot of um, a lot of new things for me to think about and a lot of new things for Drew and I to talk about and work out um, because I can't out his trans identity every time I want to I, I want to defend my queer identity so I've had to really work on establishing my own queer identity so that when people say to me wait how are you still a lesbian or how are you queer if you have a boyfriend I have to be able to answer that question succinctly without outing him because it's not always a safe or smart person or, or situation to out him to or it's none of my it's not my right it's not my place to out him as trans um, especially to defend my own identity and that was something that I had to come to terms with and we had to work through as a couple in the first month or so of our relationship because um, my identity didn't jive very well with his passing um, but and that's something that we still work on um, and that we still deal with specifically in queer space because we go to gay bars and everyone's like, what? They either read us as a straight couple, which we don't identify as straight, we identify as a queer couple, or they say, what's that dyke doing with that gay guy? Um, and that's not true either, so we really have to negotiate the kind of ways that we can interact in queer space and then in straight space. And I mean, in a lot of instances, it's been convenient. Um, because I'm, I'm from really a uh, really small rural Missouri town, so when Drew would go home with me and we like hang out with my family, with my parents, um, specifically my stepdad plays in a band, so when we'd go to the bar and my stepdad's band would be playing, it was really convenient that we were read as a straight couple because um, I've been in that situation before with my my girlfriend and it's been not such a positive situation where there are two girls dancing on the dance floor but with Drew it's a guy and a girl dancing on the dance floor nobody blinks um, so it has been convenient um, as far as safety goes in that sense um, because Drew passes so well but it's also been really um, personally hard for me to work through because I felt like I had to really find a way to explain my identity or not explain my identity when people ask me questions um, about what it means that I'm a lesbian still dating uh, dating a guy. Um, and I can't say that I have all the answers to that. It's been, um, it's, yeah, it's it's been confusing. I'm, I'm not going to lie, it's been confusing, but I feel like I've worked it out um, a lot of ways in the word queer, just by introducing myself as a queer woman, not as a lesbian. And then people, you know, usually don't ask what that means or, or they think maybe they don't understand something about the word queer so that it could include a guy. Um, and it works out because Drew isn't out in a lot of ways. His videos are on here and he's out to his friends and he's out um, just in most every way possible. Um, he's out, especially to his close friends um, or as he meets people. So the fact that he is out as trans really allows me to um, keep my queer identity and allows me to stay, um, to stay queer even though we're red as a straight couple when we walk down the street. Um, so that's where passing really affects my relationship, is how we're read as far as sexuality goes, not how Drew's gender is read, because his gender is 99.9% .9 times read as male. Um, like I said, he's been on T for quite some time, so that's not really a part of our relationship. Uh, I hope this helped. I'd like to talk more about this because it's still something that I'm working out, so if anyone has any questions or comments about um, the merging of our identities in this way, um, post them. I'd be love to, I'd love to talk about it more. Uh, have a good week, guys.